Okay, guys, short video about two months ago I started making my own pecorino romano. Oh, I hope Beautiful. it's a pecorino romano. What is that? What is that? Rice cake? It's a. It's. A, it looks like a rice cake actually. <laughs> and then also I have my lonzino, which is the prosciutto type. Uh, and I because Joe is here today, I said, oh, you know what? What the best way to savor this? They were my friend. So we're gonna open it up and see what happened. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't mess it up, but you know, if I mess it up, we just get rid of it. If not, we will never see this video ever. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if I can open this. How many Italian you you need to open up a little netting? I don't know. Wow, look at this. Doesn't come off. Lonzi, the Lonzino doesn't want to be cut up. Tighten it up real good. Okay. So this is the Lonzino that I wrapped up first. It was in the salt, and then I wrapped it up into the you know the um, natural skin casing. So it's beautiful. Why? It wants to come off. Look at that, guys. Oh boy, look at this. This is covered with pepper and. Beautiful garlic. Look at that. Oh, but, man. Joe, can you pass me one of those? I do not want to do, I don't, don't want to cut the lonzino first. I want to cut the cheese because I don't want the, the cheese to get full of pepper. So let's put the lonzino right here and let's cut the cheese first. I want to see if this cheese is good. Smells good. We'll see what happens. I'm going to cut it right in half. It, it look it feels good when I cut it. Mamma mia. Oh my lord, this smells delicious. Oh beautiful. <sighs> smells like feet. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good actually. My lord. It, it is like a pecorino. Look at that. Joe, do the honor. Yeah. I'm gonna give you the first piece. And let me know if you like this. This is only two months really old, good. so it's very fresh. Wow. That's nice creamy. This is my first ever pecorino cheese. Wow. Homemade. That's nice. I do this. It's this. really good. It, do, it goes perfect with this. Vino. Mm. Oh, mama. Let me move this. I want to cut the Lonzino. Ah, that's good. I'm sure the puppy wants some too. All right, guys. Now, let's see if the Lonzino is done. So, uh, what kind of meat is, where does this come from? What kind of this meat? is the pork tenderloin. So. Is that from the, from the boar? No, it, it's not from mine. I bought it before. But. Let's see. Oh. Nice and dark. All right, guys. I'm going to do it with a knife. But you can definitely do it like, you know, I have the machine that I can slice it. But, you know, we're going to just slice it now like this and try it out. So the Lonzino is almost like a prosciutto. It's just a lot smaller. Do the honors with this too? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> you have to try. Okay, Joe. Look how nice and thin it is. You gotta smell it first. I did. Oh, that's nice. It's like prosciutto. That's beautiful. Put that in a sandwich with the bread. Gotta have Amazing. A little, gotta have a little bread with this. You know how funny this is? It, it, it's amazing the way we can turn little things into delicious food. This was a piece of tenderloin. Kept it in the salt for three days. Take it out of the salt, cover it with pepper, and then just put it in the fridge with the, the natural casing. It's been in the fridge for almost two months, just like the cheese. Hold on, Joe. 
You have to have a Lonzino, you have to have a little piece of cheese with yeah. that too. Yeah. So, okay. That's so it for you. This is great. And this is for me. I'm moving in. <laughs> okay. Salute everybody. Look at that. Formaggio fatto in casa. Eh, Lonzino, che it's almost like a prosciutto fatto in casa. Homemade. Wow, this is delicious. Really good. My wife's going to be very proud of me. Mmm. And then she says to me, why you make so much food? Look what you did. Mmm. Huh. Really Perfect good. salt. Yeah. I didn't put any salt in it. When you make this kind of cheese, you only put the salt on the top. And then you salt the bottom a little bit. You have to, you know, every day you have to flip it and salt it a little bit. Just once, that's it. It's amazing. Just delicious. Really good. So guys, Lonzino homemade. Pecorino homemade. Mamma mia. And that's about it. Short video for you guys because I wanted to taste this. When I finished the video, I never was able to taste it until now. And I'm happy that Joe was here too. So we were able to do it together. At least I got somebody else's opinion. Very you know what good. I mean? With that, salute everybody salute. and enjoy your week. And I'll see you next time. Good help. Ciao. Another slice? Yeah.